Jungle Beats up in here. Uh, Jungle Beats. Australia's plug to the best hip hop and music in the world. We try to be. No, no, we don't try. We do. We do. We're about to review and react Tyler the Creator's new two singles per many of your requests. Who Dat Boy, his music video, we'll watch. Mm -hmm. um, you guys on uh, a private Discord Patreon only chat told us to watch the music video with it first. Mm -hmm. And then 9 11, Mr. Lonely. We're going to go through that. Mm -hmm. You're a fan of Tyler, more than me, more he's experienced. My, he's in my top five. I fucking idolize him. He helped me through a lot of shit. I fucking love him. Let's back up because the mic's here, so we probably want to get I'm right. Just, I'm just excited, man. <laughs> I'm just really excited. Uh, Tyler the Creator, who that boy? <laughs> Don't forget to try. Please support us on Patreon uh, if you can afford it. Really would help. Or consider it at least. God damn it! There's no volume. Oh! Yo. Oh shit! Holy shit! Dude, Rocky! It's Ace of Rocky! Look at that cinematography. <laughs> can we watch that again? Yeah, we can watch that again. Uh, it's probably like my favorite track of the year, straight up. <laughs> Holy shit! But the, there's so many subtle, oh. subliminal, like um, little messages. They're like messages. when he's driving the sun, right? With the, with the father's face on. And like, was it him just like? Uh, so many shots that kind of like. Subconscious social political um, uh, statements in there about ASAP Rocky was a surprise. Sorry, can we play it again? Yeah, of course we can play it again, man. That shit bangs, shit. man. That is such a good song. Who that boy? <laughs> I love hip hop, man. I love this shit. How can you, this look? This shit's amazing, man. That's so good. The visuals are on point. It's still with this humor in there as well, and like a lot of messages. The fucking that beat was crack. That beat and Ace of Rocky was so fucking good on Their that. Their flow was perfect. And these guys, you remember the? Have these guys, have these guys made a track before? They have. Well, I know he's done tracks with Aesop, but I don't know if he's done. They're, fr they're good friends. I know but they've they're only been friends, friends recently, though, because they toured together. And when they when they toured together, that's when they became really good friends. That's when they released like heaps of videos. Because you remember in like the the Who Gone Fuck right now, and you can see yeah, Ace yeah, in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when they started to get to know each other. And then obviously he was on telephone calls off the crazy. I think it was before then. But like fucking hell, man, that was so good. That's like definitely one of the best tracks. I'm glad we reacted to that because like... I wish I listened to it last night. Because <laughs> then I could have... Oh, that boy. Oh, bro. That fuck... When he comes in, holy shit. This hip-hop shit is crazy, man. I am now they officially up. hyped as fuck for the next Tyler album. Imagine the album of that. No way. No Don't way. get me wrong. No I, I like Cherry Bomb. Wolf is definitely his best piece of work. But with Cherry Bomb at the end of it, like as much as I liked it, I was just like, it was just lacking. With the amount of silliness like Tyler's perceived a, a, to be, hmm. there's a huge degree of like consciousness and like a, a thought and self-awareness hmm. that needs to be appreciated. I love hip hop. Next track. Well, we heard a bit of it on here, but now we get to listen to the whole thing.
Is that Frank? <laughs> Who are the best tracks we've heard this year? If the whole album sounds like this, this will easily be my favorite album of the year. It's exactly the sort of production I like, it's exactly the sort of humor and play on words I like. Just everything he does is exactly my type of hip hop. I never used to be a Tyler fan. A couple years ago, our future wasn't fucking mm. with him. The last year, especially hearing stuff like this now, I'm on the train. I'm on the train. The OF train? No, um, also, with parts of that track, there was very, there was slight vibe from a lot of his albums. Uh, the start of that track had a lot of like fucking right sort of feels from uh, Cherry Bomb, and even the the next part of that track sounded like something that would be on there as well. I feel like, from what I've heard so far, it's kind of like he's continuing the sort of sound Cherry Bomb had, but improved it. Because Cherry Bomb was a bit of a different sound for him, but this sounds very similar to a lot of the stuff that was on there, but more polished. Because Cherry Bomb, if you've listened to it, sounds quite unfinished. Can't remember it. It, was, it sounded very unfinished, okay. but I think that's the effect he was going for. But then at the same time, he was at a stage where he wasn't sure about releasing music as much. He was sort of in that sort of mind frame. So this, this to me sounds like him, his, his more improved cherry bomb. Tyler's just, he seems like a, just a fucking, such an interesting, I don't know, just exciting human being. In his oh, interviews yeah. I'd be watching, he's like such a, such a character. That's, that's, that's what we're talking about we're before. Creative. I fell in love with his character and then I fell in love with his music because I didn't like his music. I remember when Bastard first dropped. And I heard it and I heard the tape of parts of it and I was like, nah, this is disgusting. Goblin came out. I hated that fucking thing. Wasn't a fan. Just because I just didn't resonate with the music and message at the time. Yes. Yeah, Eventually, because I always liked him as a person. I always fucking loved his interviews. I watched his interviews purely just for his, his personality. Same with Yachty. I watched heaps of Yachty interviews but I just because I like Yachty as a person. And then when Wolf came out, I fucking loved Wolf so much. It was my favorite album of the year. And I went back, checked his other stuff and liked that shit as well. And now he's one of my favorite artists. <laughs> And I, I, I strongly disliked OF when they come out. Like, I was, I was not, a, I was, like, I wasn't a fan. Same with Kendrick. When I first heard Kendrick, I wasn't a fan. That's when he was, when he just changed his name. I, and then over time, really Section 80 became a massive fan. And once again, Section 80 was my favorite album of that year. And he's in my top five as well. I'm pretty sure, like, my top five are all rappers that I didn't like when I first heard them. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. Evolution, growth. That's what that is. Thank you, Tyler, for dropping those two tracks. Whatever you, album you're going to drop this year, if you drop an album, I'm he is. looking forward to now. I bet, you drops, I bet you drops an album in the next month. That would make sense. In the trends we've seen with singles and albums. Mm -hmm. And that Frank feature was, was, was cool too. Like, I enjoyed that. It was barely a Frank feature, but it was cool. <laughs> no, a li a, it's a feature. It's a, 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 little, uh, a little, little Frank snippet. Because now they're good friends. Man, Frank could flick his dick on there and I'd still like it. Like little, Drekin Drekin Tyler's circumcised or not? I reckon Tyler would have a nice uncircumcised penis. I don't think he'd be circumcised. What do you guys think? Write in the comments below. Maybe there's pictures online of his dick. Maybe we should just settle this. Do you know Justin Bieber has a beautiful penis? Do you know there's an article on the internet? And this is for, this is real. I'm not joking. There's an article on the internet from Justin Bieber's dad explaining how proud he is that his son has a good looking penis. There's an article. That's real? Yeah. There's a real article about his, an article about his dad complimenting his son's penis and how proud he is of his son. How would he know what his son's adult penis looks like? Because his adult penis is all over the internet. It's all over the internet? Bieber doesn't give a fuck. I didn't know that. I've seen so many pictures of it flaccid, hard, like he's just got a really good looking dick. It's a fucking good dick. It's big, like good girth. It curves a bit. It's just like, I, I, don't get me wrong, I fucking love pussy, but if I was into dick, that'd be one of the best looking dicks I've ever seen. Damn. Justin Bieber has a good looking dick. Fucking hell. You heard it here first, man. Jungle Beats. Uh, Tyler the Creator. Love your shit, man. <laughs> we're, like, ju we're Jungle <laughs> Beats. <laughs> this is right up Tyler's alley, man. I'm sure he'd, he'd have this conversation. Like, really. Yeah, I'll tell you what, he'd have want Justin Bieber's dick in his alley. I'm now curious. You hyping this really dick up. I'm like, I ain't even into dicks. Well, a lot of people think they're fake. I thought it was fake as well. I looked more into it. <laughs> you look more into it? I looked more into it. What'd you find? I, 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 you just find yourself start touching yourself? Like when you look more into it? 
No. Well, I, I don't feel about it in that way. It's more of a way, okay. like it's more of a respect sort of way. Like, I just, okay. like when you see, I man, respect like, this dick. It's like when you see other man's penis, you just like, you instantly just like think about, is that a good looking dick? Was that just me? I feel like I have a nice looking dick. Okay. Do you want to see? A dick? I feel like if we both said ask for it, you'd probably whip it out. I'd whip it out. Although it's really cold, so I feel like I'd rather whip it out than a warm one. Yeah, it's because it's, it's just not in its prime right now. It's freezing. Yeah, it definitely be losing. It's like one, big, it's one degree right now. Do you want to see my dick, Jungle Beats? Holler at me. <laughs> we'll put that as a Patreon. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> do you want to see my dick support a dollar? Once we reach 100, dicks going to be shown. <laughs> I was real, man. If if we got there, I fight. Our audience is five percent female. If enough female members or male, we are really can want to want to want to see. Yeah, it, I will make it an option. Bro, that's Damn it, that means I have to see. Both those songs are amazing. It's really good. Right, we'll figure it out. Jungle Pete's. I'm not crazy. I'm a fu oh shit. Floopy goober, motherfucker. Hey man, fucking egg, goober. They ain't ready for what we about to bring back. They ain't ready for Tyler oh. with the green hat. They ain't ready for the wang sack, niggas. Fuck is niggas talking about, nigga. We gonna die.